information that I videotaped on cumulative frequency went, but thankfully, one of the students spoke up and said, hey, I can't find this anywhere. So here I am going through the cumulative frequency explanation. You ready? Let's take a look at what this means. There are one, two, three, four, five, six intervals. One goes from 20 to 29, one from 30 to 39, 40 to 49, and so on. Each of those intervals has its own unique frequency. So F for frequency, that means there are, there's one cholesterol level that's between 20 and 29. There are six between 30 and 39, 10 between 40 and 49, 14 between 50 and 59, and so on. We did explain in the videos already how the, the, um, the proportion you're going to find is that the frequency for that interval over the total number of um, data, which is 40. Now, what is this last column? CF is short for cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency is all about accumulating as you go along. Most kitchens I know of in the kitchen somewhere or home somewhere in the kitchen or the dining room have what we commonly refer to as, oh, excuse me, a junk drawer. And what that means is that we put stuff in that like we have no idea where it should go and there's no particular place for it. So we just throw it all in the junk drawer. Every once in a while, families clean out the junk drawer. It accumulates in the junk drawer. It just builds up. Some refrigerators <laughs> accumulate leftovers and then you go in there after a while and you're like, oh my God, what is this mold growing on here? That's what accumulate means. Accumulate means to gather or grow as time goes on. So let's take a look here. Let's start at the lowest interval from 20 to 29. There's a frequency of one. So, so far we've accumulated just one score. But in the interval from 30 to 39, we've accumulated six more scores. So all together, or we didn't accumulate six more, but we've gotten six more scores. So all together, we've accumulated seven. The one, from the interval from 20 to 29, the previous total so far, plus the six new guys to add up to a total of seven. So, so far we have seven that we've accumulated so far. Think of it as maybe thrown in the cumulative frequency drawer instead of the junk drawer. Now this next interval gives us another 10 frequencies. So if I take the seven in the cumulative frequency drawer and add the 10, in this new amount of frequency in this interval, altogether I have 17 items in my drawer. Now the next interval has 14 more added in. So I've got to add to the 17 items already in cumulative frequency. I'm adding 14 more. So now I'm up to 31. Now in the interval from 60 to 69, there are six more. So now I'm up to 37. And then there are three in the highest interval from 70 to 79. And if I take the 37 that are accumulated so far and add those three, I get 40. The total number of frequencies down here in yellow at the bottom of the frequency column 40 will always match the accumulated frequencies because that's what it means. It means to add up the frequencies as they go along. So they have accumulated, okay? I hope that explains cumulative frequency a little bit better for you. I know that it was explained somewhere. Maybe it's in a video for the next lesson. That could be it. We'll see.